Hey, uh, it's an honor for me to be here in Wisconsin. I'm here, like he said, on a book signing mission. But, you know, relative to you guys here and, and me being here, I'm here uh, with you because I am you. That's right. 40, 43 years ago, last Sunday, uh, I stood on a podium based on the same issues that you guys out here facing right now. Only difference is that particular time we narrowed it down because with black people that was going through it, but it's a human element where all people can go through it. Here we are 43 years later and you individuals are right here facing the same crisis. The same fight that I had 43 years ago, you should have this fight today. It's a winnable fight because many people walk by you when you're out here in your tents or in uh, Washington, D.C. or there in New York, occupying Wall Street. Many everyday working people stop 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And what they're starting to realize when they stop and watch you and look at you, they realize that they are in the same boat as you. They might have a job, but they know that their job is on the edge because they're not guaranteed to have a job tomorrow. Right. They know that their mortgage is up for foreclosure, the same as some of you might have lost your homes. They know for a fact that the fat cat right now, while everything in America is being depressed, is still making his big money running to the big banks. They know that eventually uh, Mr. Buffett and Mr. Obama will grab hands and decide to walk through and lend support before it's over, all over. Oh, we hope so. Oh, they will. They will eventually come to be with you, stand with you. But I'll stand with you because there's so many individuals like to walk through and be seen like they're with the group. But you know, it's no midway. Either you committed 1,000% or you're not committed at all. There's no partial commitment. I made my commitment a long time ago. I cannot change my stripes as to who I am, standing for justice and equality for all people. I don't care what color you are. I don't care whether you're fat, skinny, tall, good looking or ugly, it doesn't matter. Everyone deserves a fair shot in the society in which we live. That's right. And I'm blessed for the fact that this movement that has been taking place has started right here in Wisconsin, right down the street from this state capital. Not only that, when you sit back and you think about this governor. Now we had a governor in California that everybody liked and they thought it was a different situation, they impeached him. But one thing I learned that you can impeach a governor just as you can impeach this governor here. Based on the fact that this individual forgot how he got his education. He forgot who were the builders of this nation in which we live today, relative to the blue collar workers of this country. We are the ones that built this nation and we are the ones that suffer right now as a result of the good deeds that we've done over the years. When you sit back and you think about your young kids that you fostered and saved and scraped to send your kids to college. And now you come out of college and there's no jobs for them. But yet and still, when you go to the mailbox, you get a notice from the Board of Education and the state institutions telling you, pay that student loan. You think about the fact that you saved money and you thought you would have a great retirement one day and now your retirement is gone. There's no money coming in and everything is going out. And then when you go to the bank and say, I need to be refinanced, or I need a loan, I need understanding, you can't even get through the door. Once again, as I say, many people walk by and they see you and they stop and they look and they wonder, when is my courage level going to step up to the point where I'm willing to walk across the line and begin to eat the soup? Right now! Yeah, that's right exactly now. right. And I want you to know across this nation, many people across this nation are starting to fall in and file into the realm of this situation that we're involved in today. There's no one individual can win this war. Collectively, unified, we all have to come together and make the nation understand that we are the people that built this nation. Woo! And remember, don't let them ever set you up to the point where they're going to put you in a situation where you're in a hostile or violent situation. They would love for you to get out of the circle and not know the game rules. Make sure that everybody's on the same page relative to what's happening in New York. We want to make sure we're on the same page here in Wisconsin. The same as Wisconsin, we want to make sure we're on the same page in Oakland, California, or Washington, D.C. So we have a blanket understanding as to what our goals are, what we're looking for in this society today. Because remember, it's not about what you're doing for yourself today, what you're doing is for your kids tomorrow. God bless you and thank you for having me.